Good morning, everyone. A good air of Shabbos, and we are back to our message of Bitochen from the Parsha. This week's Parsha, Vayeshev, there are so many, it's hard to choose which one. But I want to focus in on a Misa, on one of the events that takes place in the Parsha that is, of course, very difficult to understand. We're not going to go into the details of this Parsha from the mystical level, the deeper level, but this that we have the union of Yehuda and Tamar, which seems to be something of ill repute and out of wedlock. And yet at the end of the day, Tamar is confronted with the following moment in her life. And that is that Yehuda is accusing her of being a Zaina, of being a woman of illicit relations. She has in her hands the objects that Yehuda gave her as she left his presence after they had intimacy. And she knows they belong to him. She knows that the children inside of her stomach that are going to be born belong to him. He is the father. And he is condemning her that she's going to be burnt alive and killed at the stake. And Tamar has the following dilemma. Do I renounce myself and do I let everybody know that the children that are inside of me did not come through some kind of prostitutional type of relation, but rather Yehuda is the father? Or do I keep my mouth quiet over here and not say a word? Because if I do, what a great embarrassment it is going to be for Yehuda from which the future malachim, the future kings of Klal Yisrael are going to come from. What do I do? It's a moment of truth in Tamar's life. Do I let everybody know that Yehuda is really the father of the children that are inside of me? And that way I will absolve myself from looking like a prostitute and being killed at this moment? Or do I simply keep my mouth quiet and not say a word? And as Chazal say from, the, from Tamar's decision that she does over here, which is to basically remain quiet, we see that it's better that a person should allow themselves to be thrown into a kivshan shal eish, into a cauldron of burning fire, than to malbim p'nei chaver, than to embarrass another person. What a moment in a person's life to be responsible for such a decision. A person with a moon and bitochen in the ribay nesha'ilam understands that we came in this world to do the rats and the will of Hashem. And if my admission or my words are going to cause shame and embarrassment and disgrace to another yid, to another person. Someone, especially on the stature of a Yehuda, says Tamar to herself, I cannot open my mouth right now and embarrass this man for all generations. I cannot make him look like a person, although he's on the highest of levels, I cannot make him look like a person that is sunk to the lowest of lows. And therefore, says Tamar, with a bitachin shlema, with pure bitachin in Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I will do my part, and you will do your part. When a person is b'teich Hashem, they go forward in life with the decisions that they must make. We don't know what the results are going to be. We don't know how the outcome is going to look. We go with our heart and our mind connected and Trusting in the Rebbeinu Sha'alam, we're relying upon Hashem. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what you decide to do, that's going to be up to you. And therefore, Tamar says the following. She sends a private message to Yehuda and she says, Whoever these three things belong to, whoever these objects, these items belong to, he should know that he is the father of the children that are inside of me. And she did it discreetly and quietly so that Yehuda would have to make up his own mind. Does he want to incriminate himself and reveal himself and expose himself as the man of the father of these children, which means that he had relations with Toma when perhaps he should not have? Or is he going to stay quiet and watch this poor woman go to her doom and leave this world? Toma, with her bitochen intact, with her trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that my job is to do the rotten and the will of Hashem. And I'll stretch myself. I easily could save myself right now not to be killed, but it will cause an embarrassment to Yehuda. 
How can I be malbin penechavera? How can I embarrass and disgrace and whiten the face of Yehuda in public to embarrass him in front of all? And so she took upon herself to remain silent. She took upon herself to hint to him that perhaps he is the father of these children. She left it up to him to decide what's going to be, but ultimately she's leaving it in the hands of Hashem. If you want me in this world, Rebbeinu Sha'ilam, so then you'll allow me to continue to survive and live in this world. If now is the last moments of my life and I will be burned at the stake alive, and there will be no more Tamar in the world to bring these children into life, which eventually will bring the offspring of David HaMelech, which will eventually bring the offspring of Mashiach, then that's also your decision, HaKadosh Baruch I place my faith and my trust in you. Bitachin doesn't mean that I'm going to go through, and of course I believe that everything is going to work out exactly the way that I want it to. I go into a situation with Bitachin and I trust HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you are going to bring this mice, this event, this interaction to fruition. I, yes, I would like it to be that in the schus of my Bitachin, things will work out marvelously and incredibly. But I am soymich, I rely upon you, HaKadosh Baruch at the end of the day, the koman, the ovid, rachmona, letav, ovid, and everything that the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam does is for the good, and therefore I trust in you that things will work itself out exactly the way that you want. Such levels of amuna, such madregas of bitachin that Toma was on, and it's perhaps that is why she becomes really the mother of from her will come David and from her from, from that will come Mashiach because if you want to believe in Mashiach all these years, you want to say, I believe with complete faith that that even though he delays I continue to wait for Mashiach. You want to have that amun and that bitachin in Mashiach Sikeno, you have to come from the amun and the bitachin of Tamar. And therefore we should be mechazik ourselves to recognize that if you just put your faith and your trust in Hashem, not only will everything work out even better than you imagined, you could end up being zeiche, to be a link in the chain that will bring Mashiach Sidkeinu bimheira liyameinu. Have a wonderful Shabbos.